hello everyone welcome to my channel with technology so today we are going to discuss about the microsoft office 365 for mac machines so there is one biggest challenge in mac that once you download office 365 applications from the app store it will ask for the authentication or activation you will not able to uh, use it without the uh, activation key and uh, that otherwise you have to buy it from the microsoft so here is a quick solution for you where you can create your ppt files your excel files and word files uh, without any activation or software uh, download which you can create without any activation and software so this is the easiest way where you just need a internet connection and uh, your email account which you can use for the login so here you go the steps which i am telling you uh, open office office.com and sign in with your microsoft id uh, so by the way microsoft id will be personal id there go to the app there and uh, click powerpoints so when you click the powerpoint it will open powerpoint templates I am going to select the new blank presentation as of now for the testing purpose. Uh, we are going to type it here and we'll see how we can create the PPT file. So I'm going to type uh, something in this PPT. So you can use everything in PowerPoint. Designs are there, but where you can see the diamond icon over the suggested designs, those are the premium one, but otherwise the freeware you can use. So I have selected one. You can see there. I'm gonna select the another function insert. So let's start with the shapes. Selected this shape as of now. Insert it. And uh, once it's insert, uh, you can use another templates from the designer as well. So let's try something else there. Um, let's let's choose another template from there yes so template has been applied you can save this file as a copy there I'm gonna save it now yes the file has been downloaded and once you open it here I will show you the challenge yeah so you can see that when PowerPoint will start it will ask for the sign in to activate so i don't have any license installed on it so i will not able to use that file but there is one workaround you can save that file as a pdf pdf is a freeware software which you can install save it and start the pdf file so okay so in powerpoint you can see once you have downloaded it as a pdf click on the full view and you can use this file as a presentation file so this is the PowerPoint. Next one, we will try the word there. So again, create a new word file. You can type here, you can use all the functions and uh, you can save this file as a, a word file, as a PDF file as well. So that's how you can use it without any activation. And uh, one, move to the next uh, we will try the excel now so click on all apps and uh, open the excel again uh, uh, okay i'm going to create a new blank work group we can try some formulas there where we can see like these are working perfectly fine on this web version uh, i'm going to create one table uh, with the name and location so let's try with red one 
array 2 and uh, we will drag it till array 10 yes let's insert a row again and we'll decide the column name uh, first one will be name and second will be country so I'm going to type the country names randomly for all the names there taking this name very randomly just for the example purpose so we will test this we look up in the web version of office 365 okay so we are ready with the table uh, the first column is represents the names and second column is uh, the country so in second sheet we will create three values there right one uh, for three names red 1 red 5 and red 9 so let's take an example here I mean uh, we will try a VLOOKUP so name we have the name so we will select the country from other um, sheet so we'll try start a VLOOKUP we'll check the name there on another sheet we will see the two columns the value will be the second column which we are going to capture and uh, the formula is completed now you can see it's working there so all the three values are captured from another sheet perfectly fine and this formula is working well so you can save this file you can share this file as per your requirement so that's how you can use this words web version of office 365 on mac we are no need of any activation required and uh, you can uh, use this web version without any charges without any fees thank you so much for watching this video